This is Dan from The Verge, and I've got with me the new Hasselblad X1D. This is the newest camera from Hasselblad, and it is the world's first mirrorless camera with a medium format sensor. And what that means is that the sensor inside of this is enormous. It's bigger than any other mirrorless camera you might have seen, whether it's a compact one, or even one with a 35 millimeter full frame sensor like Sony's A7 series. This one's even bigger, and what that means is that you're gonna get better image quality in theory. You get better low light performance, better color reproduction, better dynamic range. It's really kind of like the holy grail of digital photography. And Hasselblad's put it in this camera that's way more compact than anything else it's done before. It's roughly the size of a Canon Rebel SLR. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, of course. It's made out of aluminum. It's much more solid feeling, much more robust uh, and, and tough. It has a brand new lens mount and Hasselblad is announcing some couple new lenses for it. You can see here, new lens mount with the sensor there. Uh, this here in my hand is a 90 millimeter lens that's launching with it. There's also a 45 millimeter lens that's coming with it as well. And Hasselblad is gonna be coming out with an adapter to use other H system lenses from its larger platforms. Uh, on the back of the camera, it's a thoroughly modern mirrorless camera. You've got a three inch touch screen on the back, electronic viewfinder, your usual controls, dual SD card slots, uh, outputs for HDMI, USB-C, microphone inputs and outputs. It does actually shoot video at 1080p if you want to use it for video. The real thrill of shooting with the X1D is for its stills. It's 50 megapixels of resolution, 14 stops of dynamic range, shoots ISOs up to 25,600, which is a bit higher than Hasselblad's H6 camera even. Uh, it'd be great for portrait photography or anything else that you need to be on the go. It's not gonna be good for sports. It only shoots a couple frames per second. The autofocus system is not nearly as fast as other cameras for those types of purposes. But if you're a portrait photographer, this is definitely something to lust after. Of course, you're gonna have to pay for it. The body itself is like $9,000. You add lenses to it all in for the new lenses with the camera, you're looking probably around $14,000 which is a significant investment for anybody, especially even a uh, working photographer. But it is a lot less than you might pay for an H6, which starts at $27,000. So it's a really cool, interesting camera. Uh, it's coming out later this year. You'll be able to get one towards the end of this summer. And we're looking forward to spending more time with it. How you doing? <laughs>